Well, I, I was just alerted to a report by WNBC. Uh, basically about the investigation, an internal investigation that Facebook has conducted that found that uh, the number of QAnon, members of QAnon groups actually number a lot higher than most people are giving credit for. Uh, my favorite take that I ever heard from somebody who definitely low-key supports the idea is that it's just um, just a few meth heads. I've been following these fucking nut jobs for a while, uh, so I knew that that wasn't the case. Facebook announced that um, they were going to be, one way or another, excluding from the search algorithm groups that are militant, violent social movements, and QAnon conspiracies. These do all, in fact, roll up into each other. That's kind of what I've been getting at. They've shined a light on why the hashtags like Save the Children and Pizzagate have been banned is because they are, in fact, as I said in the last video, uh, related to directly to QAnon. And, in fact, one of the local groups that I'm in is actually promoting another March for Children group that's by an organization... They just pasted a photograph, and there's, yeah, there's no, um, little, uh, breadcrumb, as they call it in QAnon. The March for Children ads, uh, campaigns were actually have found to have been purchased by QAnon group leaders, you know, people who started QAnon groups on Facebook. And it's, it's troubling. They knew that it was coming. That's why they started announcing that they were banning, uh, the hashtags that weren't banned. They would announce... They're banning these hashtags. Which hashtags? The ones I just posted. Like, uh, they keep taking it down. I see it, right? Like, it's, you didn't, it's not banned. They're banning it. It's still there. Facebook doesn't want you to see this. I mean, I'm commenting on it. Share it so they can't take it down. Uh, that kind of bullshit. The crux of this is, I know you hate pedophiles. I hate pedophiles. Fuck them. However, when it's being used, and transparently so, to grow the influence of a I cult, it's a cult, it's a fucking, I don't know, a cult. The truth, it's, it's dangerous. Another fun point is that in 2019, the FBI designated QAnon as a potential domestic terrorist threat. Something which I'm not sure most of the Q followers are aware of as they cheer for Barr to designate Antifa as the same thing. Because it would be kind of weird for them to admit that they understand that their favorite non-existent a uh, person being uh, Archangel Trump, the version of him that's sent into some kind of 5D chess ops to save children from Hillary Clinton and the other lizard people, um, is not real. But Antifa is. Trump himself, he knows how to dog whistle. He knows how to communicate with them without communicating with them. He knows exactly what happens when he does it and somebody calls it out in the media and he just goes, I never, never heard of him or whatever. There's no dynamic timeline for these people and that's how you know generally speaking that somebody has fallen for a fucking cult it's all either trump dons his flaming sword and magic pants i added that myself and takes on all the kid diddlers in hollywood or the left burns the whole country down because they're secretly part of the demon army that was summoned by Hillary Clinton's ritual. That part I ad-libbed. I don't know. It sounds like something they would say. You could probably say that in a QAnon room and they probably would just be like, <laughs> the idea wouldn't offend them. Um, they do crazy shit. Um, they've had armed standoffs, kidnappings. People have died. That dude crashed a train. In the name of Q. These patriot groups indefinitely link back to this. And as I have already said, most of the members of this one group that I, that I sort of tend to cover might not have any idea they're involved in a QAnon mill, right? Uh, the person in charge does. She posts the hashtags all the time, and she's promoting these nameless organizations um, Save the Children marches. The leader of this particular group is in on that. Most of the people in the group, probably not so much. I mean, they are, but they don't know it because these people will espouse the thoughts and ideals of it without naming Q. Before you know it, you've got people believing that I heard from a cousin, a second cousin, a third cousin that worked with somebody at a warehouse that said that they drove by the post office and saw they were loading kids into the truck. It's like the Wayfair thing. It's, it doesn't make any sense. It's not real, but they don't know where it comes from when in fact it comes from a QAnon base. It's bigger than you think. I promise you this QAnon thing is bigger than you, you right now watching think. It's, it's not all Q. 
it's bigger stuff. They've reached out and they've, they're affecting things in a much bigger way than you think. I promise. This is one of those points I can see. I would, I would be fucking overjoyed if I was wrong about this. This uh, YouTube's probably where I'm going to be doing the most of my, my conspiracy content. Tune into Twitter for shit posting and Instagram. You can see my art. And on Twitch, I'll be gaming. Uh, these, these worlds probably don't overlap too much, but who knows? We'll see what happens. I just want you guys to, uh, hang out with me while we deal with this shit. Uh, so thanks for coming.